His name is synonymous with the Surrealist art movement, and he had two museums dedicated to his life and work while he was still living. Salvador Dali, the eccentric Spanish painter, was perhaps the first of the media-savvy artists, paving the way for pop artists like Andy Warhol. A prolific artist creating more than 1,500 paintings during his lifetime and many works in other mediums, including prints, drawings, sculpture, book illustrations and theatre set designs, Salvador Dali understood how the media worked and used it to its full potential. The young Salvador Dali drew from an early age, and in 1922, he moved to Madrid to study at the Academy of Arts. He soon developed a reputation as an eccentric, with his peculiar dress sense, strange hairstyles, and comments on art. Dali experimented with forms of cubism, but didn't complete his final exams, saying those judging his work were not competent enough to grade him. Dali moved to Paris to be among the progressive artists of the time, including Pablo Picasso, a fellow Spaniard, and someone he greatly admired. Around this time, he created surreal artworks that would come to represent what surrealism represented to the masses, including the famous Dali melting clocks, The Persistence of Memory, in 1931. Soon Dali became a leader of the Surrealist movement. But Dali had a falling out with the Surrealists over politics and the artists' attention-seeking behavior. His financial focus also caused conflict and Dali was expelled from the Surrealist movement. He was defiant, saying, Surrealism is me. Surrealism is based on the theories of psychologist Dr. Sigmund Freud, Reoccurring images of burning giraffes and melting watches became Dali's surrealist trademarks, and his great craftsmanship allowed him to execute his paintings in a near photorealistic style. After his death in 1989, the art market was shaken by reports of great numbers of fraudulent Dali prints. This may have been due to rumors of Dali being asked to sign blank canvases before his death. Dali's wife, business manager and muse, Gala, was the model for Madonna of Port Liga. The painting and another two in the series were heavy with symbolism. In 1946, Disney hired Dali to work on the cartoon production of Destino. It was completed in 2003 by Roy Disney. We're both very good at self-promotion, and I think they they saw that as a common bond, that, that they both knew how to attract the public's attention uh, to themselves and their work. So I would say they had more in common than, than the opposite. Walt Disney first met Salvador Dali at a dinner party at the home of Hollywood movie mogul Jack Warner in 1945. In fact, well before he came to America, Dali had said that he wanted to meet Walt and Alfred Hitchcock because he saw both of them as surrealists. Disney and Dali admired each other's work, and the meeting sparked the idea of collaboration on Destino. His artworks became a popular trademark, and besides painting, he pursued other activities. Jewelry and clothing designs for Coco Chanel, and his dream of filmmaking with Hitchcock. Salvador Dali is considered as the greatest artist of the Surrealist art movement and one of the greatest masters of art of the 20th century. His bizarre persona only adding controversy and intrigue to his large body of work. Dali's art was highly accessible and the publicity it attracted made him extremely wealthy.